Hello everyone, welcome to Han's Garage. Today I am going to explain two of the fault codes that I got yesterday. And if you don't know how to use an OBD2 scanner, I will link my video that I've made yesterday so you can watch it and learn how to use the OBD2 scanner when the engine check light turns on. And before I explain two of the fault codes, which are P0171 and P0174, I'm going to explain how the engine works and then we will go from there. Okay, so as soon as you turn on the engine, air is being sucked through the air scoop and then goes into the air filter cabinet and the air gets filtered because your engine wants clean air, not dirty air. And it goes through this MAF sensor which calculates how much oxygen is going into the engine. And then it goes through the intake elbow boot, through the diesel valve, and then into the intake manifold. Through the fuel injectors, right into the cylinders, and the spark plugs right on top of the cylinders will spark it up right after the air being compressed and then it goes out into the exhaust system so right now I have two fault codes which are P0171 and P0174 so 171 is bank 1 system running 2 lean for cylinders 1, 2, 3 and then 174 is bank 2 uh, cylinders 4, 5, 6 system running 2 lean so what does it mean if the system is running too lean? So right now, there are four oxygen sensors in total. And each catalytic, com there's two catalytic converters for this engine. One for bank one, cylinders one, two, three. The second catalytic converter for bank two, cylinders four, five, six. So each catalytic converter has two oxygen sensors. One right before the catalytic converter and then one right after the catalytic converter. So there's four of them. So if the system is running too lean, it means the oxygen sensor is detecting too much oxygen and less fuel. So right now, um, it's less likely for the two oxygen sensors for each calorie converter to go bad at the same exact time. So I'm assuming there's vacuum leak within the intake system. So MAF sensor calculates how much oxygen that goes into the engine, but if there's a vacuum leak, that means there's more oxygen that's being calculated by the MAF sensor is going into the engine. So there's more oxygen coming out, right? So I'm assuming there's a vacuum leak, but if not, I might switch out my oxygen sensors. But my last resort would be the MAF sensor because this can miscalculate how much oxygen is going into the engine and not enough fuel is going into the engine. So this might be the last resort for me to clean it out or replace it. And this is the most expensive part, so I'm, going, I'm not going to touch it just yet. So right now I'm going to figure out if there is a vacuum leak by disassembling everything, making sure everything is fit and tight. And then if everything is good here, then I'm going to check my oxygen sensors.